So if you have a Tab S9 Plus or even a Tab S9 Plus FE, you might be wondering what type of cases you should buy or keyboards or even other accessories. Well, today's video is definitely for you because I have a ton of cases here. I have some keyboard covers. I even have some Bluetooth keyboards. I have some mouses out here or mice, whatever you wanna say. I have a lot of different accessories for the Tab S9 Plus and the S9 Plus FE. So what accessories should you get for your Galaxy tablet, specifically the Tab S9 Plus or the Tab S9 Plus FE? Well, let's talk about it. So the first thing I want to talk about is probably the most important for a lot of you. A lot of you are looking for a really good keyboard cover and there are different options out there and they all have their strengths and their weaknesses. Now I have talked about the keyboard covers a little bit in the past and I have made some videos on those so you could feel free to check those out too. But there are really three different options for good keyboard covers if you are looking out there in the wild. First off, you do have Samsung's book cover keyboard. It is the most expensive keyboard cover that you're going to find, but there are a lot of strengths to it. For me personally, I love when a book cover keyboard has a kickstand on the back, but I love when it detaches from the keyboard. It gives you a lot of flexibility because if you want to use the kickstand on your lap and use the device as a tablet, you could do that without the keyboard getting in the way. And whenever you decide to attach the keyboard back, you could attach it back and you can get a lot of good productive work done. Now the negative to Samsung's book cover keyboard is that it's not super sturdy on your lap and the travel on the keys isn't super good. Remember, it's meant to be fairly light and it is fairly light compared to some other options. So it's really nice that you do get the lightweight on the go option to bring with you. And the keys, they do feel very nice. They feel full sized in a way. So I don't feel like the keys are too small, but there's no backlighting on the keys. And the touchpad, it is okay. It is nice, but it is a little finicky for me. Sometimes I would notice if I'm trying to use the gestures, it's really nice that it has gestures built into it. But sometimes I would have issues with those gestures and things would misfire a little bit. So the touchpad isn't perfect, but it is still usable and it does work just fine for the most part. So if you look at Samsung's different keyboard covers, and they do have two different options, I do actually prefer their book cover keyboard the most because it does give you a lot of flexibility. But on the other hand, if you're someone out there who would not use a touchpad at all, you might like the slim keyboard cover. The slim keyboard cover, the one negative to it, is that there's not a lot of angles to it. It magnetically attaches to the back of your tablet, and then you attach the keyboard part on it, and it doesn't have any different angles. So you are sort of stuck in that one position. There's also no touchpad on it at all. And if you compare that to the book cover keyboard, well, that does have a kickstand on the back that gives you a ton of different angles. Now the slim keyboard cover, it is a little more sturdy on your lap, so that is a good thing. And the travel on the keys is okay. But only having one angle, that's a pretty big downfall in my opinion. So if you do want your tablet to always be like a laptop, if you want the tablet always attached to a keyboard, and if you don't care about a touchpad. This is going to be a fairly good option for you if you're okay with only having that one viewing angle. Now both of those keyboard covers, they will work with the Tab S9 Plus and the S9 Plus FE, but we do need to note this is very very important if you're out there. Not all cases that work with the Tab S9 Plus work with the Tab S9 Plus FE because the Tab S9 Plus, it is a little bit thinner than the Tab S9 Plus FE. Yes, both devices are just about as wide as each other and just about as tall. So if you are trying to magnetize something on the back, it will work just fine. But the Tab S9 FE Plus, it's just a little bit deeper or it's a little bit chunkier. So if you do try to fit some cases on it that wrap around the tablet, not all cases from the Tab S9 Plus will work on it because it does need a little bit more room on the Tab S9 FE Plus. But some cases do keep that in mind and they do make their cases to work with both devices. In this case, if you are looking for a Samsung keyboard cover, they do make two different options and both of those options will work with the Tab S9 Plus and the S9 Plus FE. But honestly, one of the better options out there is actually the Dexnor keyboard cover. And I was really, really shocked about this because I heard a lot of hype about Dexnor out there. And that's when they actually reached out to me and I said, wait a second, you should really send me one of these keyboard covers because if I try this out for myself and if I love it, 
I really want this in one of my videos. So I got the keyboard cover in and I was blown away at the quality of it if you compare it to Samsung's keyboard cover. So it magnetizes to the back of your tablet and it will work with the Tab S9 Plus, the S8 Plus, the S9 Plus FE, or even the S7 Plus or the S7 FE. And that's because if you look at the cameras here, they just have a very open bar so that it will work with all of those devices. So once you attach your tablet to this keyboard cover, you'll find that it lifts your tablet a little bit higher, it gives you a better viewing angle than most keyboard covers out there. In a similar way to Apple's Magic Keyboard, they do give you multiple angles so that you could adjust your angle accordingly. The bottom of the keyboard cover is also a lot sturdier than Samsung's Slim Keyboard or Book Cover Keyboard, and they also offer backlighting on this keyboard cover, and that is super significant. And I have to say, the thing that impressed me most of all was the travel on the keys. The key travel was amazing on this book cover keyboard. Because it's a little bit sturdier, it works better on your lap, so that is amazing. Now there are still some cons to this keyboard cover for sure, but one of the other pros is gonna be the price because you're gonna pay almost half of what you would pay to get Samsung's book cover keyboard. So that is very, very significant. But if you do look at the cons, one thing is that if you want to use your device and detach it from the keyboard, that means you're gonna have to detach it from the case altogether. So that is one way that the book cover keyboard does win because if you wanna keep your kickstand attached, you could have a kickstand without having a keyboard there. The other thing is the touchpad. If you press on the left of the touchpad, it really sounds like it's one click. If you press on the right, it does work like a normal right click and it's just one click and it makes that sound. But if you press in the middle, it almost sounds like it's really pressing two or three times at the same time. But it does only register one click. It's just a sound, it just feels like it's registering more than one time. Even though in my testing, it only registered once. But outside of that, and outside of it having a little bit less gesture support compared to Samsung's book cover keyboard, it did actually work just fine for my basic needs, but the keyboard and the typing experience is absolutely phenomenal. Yes, you do have to charge it because it is actually ran by Bluetooth. It doesn't run off the power of the device. So if I were to pick my favorite keyboard cover, I would honestly say it's the Dexnor. Now Dexnor did sponsor a video for me, absolutely they did. But if you look at my channel, I've only had like four or five sponsors in its entirety because I'm super selective with who I choose as a sponsor. And I picked Dexnor because I actually believe this is the best keyboard cover for most people. If you wanna be able to get productive with this device on your lap, if you wanna get productive while you're on the go, if you want backlighting on the keys, if you want more travel on the keys, this is gonna be a very, very good experience for you. And even if you don't like the touchpad, you could pair a Bluetooth mouse to it and you could actually turn off the touchpad fairly easily. Now the S Pen, it actually does hide on the inside here. So you could actually attach it here to keep it protected. You can also have it charge on the back. Just remember there's nothing to cover it up there. But overall, I really think this keyboard cover, it's very, very impressive and honestly, it's my favorite out of all of them. And I should also mention that they do have a black option and they do have a blue option depending on which color you would like. Now don't forget every item in this video, I will have links in the description to them, so please go check those out. Now if you're not a fan of a keyboard cover, let's say you don't want that. One of my favorite options in using this tablet is actually using Samsung's outdoor cover. Now the outdoor cover for the Tab S9 Plus, it does not work on the Tab S9 Plus FE. So whether it's for the Tab S9 Plus or the S9 Plus FE, either way, I love the outdoor cover because it has this awesome kickstand on the back. So it does allow you to prop up your device and use it as a tablet on the go. You could prop it up on your lap if you're watching a movie, prop it up on the counter, and you could even carry it around like a little briefcase. But if you wanna get productive, you could pair it with a Bluetooth keyboard, and I'm gonna talk about a couple of Bluetooth keyboard options in a little bit. So I love the outdoor cover because it does give you that flexibility. It's also very protective as well. It does have a nice bumper all around the edges of the case. It does protect your S pin on the back as well. So yes, this case is very expensive. There's no doubt about it. But I have seen a lot of sales bringing it around $60 or less, still a little bit expensive, but it is still my favorite case regardless, assuming you don't want a Bluetooth keyboard cover. Now, if you're looking for a cheaper option, I really love these cases from Infoland. So they have two 
two different colors. Well, they have a lot of different colors, but I have two of those colors here with me. So keep in mind that there will be different textures depending on which model you get. So I have right here this green version, and this actually has a leather feel. It almost feels like a synthetic leather. And on the other hand, you have this right here, which is almost like a gray color, and it does have a fabric feel. Now, I personally love leather or even fake leather, so I really love this green version. And whenever you look at it, you'll notice once you put the tablet in, you just attach it to the case here, and then you have multiple different angles if you are trying to set this on a table or maybe set it down on your lap. They actually have these stopping points all through the bottom of the case here. The only negative that I don't really like is that you have this little flap here at the bottom and it's just sort of flapping around. Now you can move it to the bottom of the case, but still I'm not a super big fan of that little extra flap. But on the other hand, whenever you are actually closing up the case, you can attach the S pin to the back and this little flap will protect your S Pen. And it does give it a nice look. So even though it's not perfect, I still really love this and I especially love it for the price. Now, if you are looking for something a little more heavy duty, there is the Subcase Unicorn Beetle. So first of all, you have two different pieces on this case. You have this part here that attaches to the front of your device and it really acts like a screen protector. Now, if you don't want the screen protector, you can try to get rid of it, especially if you're someone who likes tempered glass. However, I will say, for whatever reason, this film is very, very strong. It's very, very hard to remove. If you want to attach this to the front of your device, you can get it going, and then this right here, this rubber part just goes around it or feels like a hard TPU. And whenever you put it on your device, you're gonna find out that, well, it's just very, very protective. Not only do you have this front part here on the screen protector protecting your device, but you're gonna have these bumpers all around the device. It also has grips on the top as well, and it even protects your charging port. This is one of the few cases out there that will actually protect your charging port from dust. Of course, it has the normal holes as well for your speakers, and it has a hole here for the fingerprint sensor. It also technically did fit my S9 Plus, but I'm sure they do have another option for that if you don't wanna have this opening here. So overall, this is a cheaper option, but it is also a little more protective. But it is gonna be a little more bulky, and you are gonna have to deal with a plastic screen protector unless you remove it. And one thing I don't like about it is that dust can get behind it fairly easily, and it can be a little difficult to clean. And I almost forgot about this case, but this is actually a very unique case from Samsung. This is actually the smart book cover case from Samsung and I got the case in white, but they do have other color options here. Now I do love that this case does actually cover up your S Pen. It is an optional cover, so you can pop it out if you don't like it, but it's nice that you can keep your S Pen up here to keep it charging. What's really unique about it is they actually have this part here. There's actually two different parts to the case. So if the first part actually magnetizes to the back of your tablet, the second part actually magnetizes to the bottom where the keyboard is, and it's really only there to cover up your screen if you are trying to bring it with you. If you don't wanna use it, don't worry. You could always use a tempered glass and just put it on the front of your tablet and protect it that way. But if you do want more protection and if you wanna have this attached at all times, you could always keep it protected. But either way, it gives you that flexibility to take it off. And now you have this right here on the back. All you have to do is grab onto the side here and you just push it down and you get this one unique angle. Now it's only one angle, so that's the negative, but on the other hand, if you wanna flip it over, you could actually keep your tablet upright in portrait mode. So if you are someone who uses your tablet in portrait mode, and if you wanna set it on a table, there are not a lot of cases that will actually give you that flexibility, but this will allow you to set up your tablet in portrait mode or in landscape mode. Now the negative is there's not a kickstand from side to side, there's also not multiple angles. You can't just flip it around and adjust it like you can a normal kickstand, but it will keep your device upright. It's just not quite as sturdy on your lap, or if you put a ton of pressure on one side of the tablet, maybe it'll move around just a little bit. But overall, this is a very good case. Now it is a little bit expensive compared to some other options out there, but it's just gonna feel nice and premium and it's gonna keep your tablet pretty lightweight. It's easy to bring it with you on the go and it's especially lightweight if you don't attach this little piece here. And it's really nice that you have that option. So I would recommend it but only if you really, really like it. All right, so now I wanna talk about other accessories outside of cases. And I do wanna talk about two of my favorite Bluetooth mouses or mice. 
and they're both really from Logitech, and these are both silent touch mouses, and what I like about them is that they don't make a lot of noise. And you have a smaller option, which is the Logitech M240, but if you want a more full-sized option for a mouse, that's gonna be a little bit better for longer sessions, I would recommend this M550. The M550 can connect to a computer with a USB if you really wanna use that, but both of these will work with Bluetooth, and they do work great on the Samsung Galaxy tablets. Now, if you are looking for a Bluetooth keyboard, let's say you're out there and the book cover keyboards, they just weren't doing it for you. Maybe you wanna get a case and you want to get a Bluetooth keyboard on the side. I would recommend the Logitech MX Keys Mini. That has been my go-to recommendation for a while, but you could find it typically for around $100, typically a little bit less, but it does have backlighting. It does have a lot better travel than a lot of other keyboard covers out there. It does charge with USB-C, but the battery on the Logitech MX Keys, it will last for a long time. It can last me for nearly six months at a time. But if you do use the backlighting, because it does have backlighting there, that does drain the battery life significantly significantly, and you might have to charge it like once every week or once every two weeks. Now, if that's a little bit too expensive, there are some other keyboards from Logitech out there. The Logitech K380 has very much been a go-to recommendation for me because it's very nice and compact. The keys still feel large enough for most people, but you could still bring it with you on the go, and you could typically find it around $30 or $40. Again, links will be in the description. And to save you some time, I'm just gonna put some other links to some other keyboards in the description, so feel free to check those out. Now, if you are looking to get productive, one of the other things you might want to bring with you is this right here. This is actually a USB-C hub from a company called Ugreen. What I like about this hub in particular is that it actually has a way to charge your device while you have this plugged into your device. So if you wanna charge your tablet while you're also using this hub, this is a great option for you. It does have a HDMI port. Now remember, the Tab S9 FE Plus and the Tab S9 FE, those devices do not work with HDMI. So you're not gonna be able to plug in your computer to a monitor, for example. But if you do have a Tab S9, S9, S9 Plus, or S9 Ultra, or even a Tab S8, S8 Plus, S8 Ultra, all of those devices will work with this hub just fine. You're gonna be able to use another USB-C port and two USB-A ports. And of course, it also has some slots here for SD cards. But I will mention, if you have a Tab S9 FE or a Tab S9 FE Plus, this is still a really nice thing to have. Because even though you can't use the HDMI to connect to a monitor, you can still use all of these other ports. And if you are someone that wants to connect like a hard drive to your device, maybe an SSD, for example, a portable SSD, this is going to be a great option for you. Now, the last thing I want to mention is a portable SSD. It's the portable SSD that I've been using lately, and that is the Samsung T7. I'm using one with two terabytes of space, but there's plenty of different options depending on how much space you want. And this is a really good option if you want to do things like video editing, because you can actually video edit in an app like LumaFusion if you do actually have an SSD attached. And that even works with the Tab S. 9 FE Plus. So I do have links in the description if you want a little bit of extra external storage. And this is just really nice because it's very, very fast, especially if I'm trying to quickly transfer files from my tablet to my computer. So hopefully this video did help you out. I talked about a lot of accessories. There are links in the description for all of these different cases. Remember, there are a lot of different colors for some of these. And remember, if you're out there and if you're hunting for cases, this is a very weird year. So just leave comments in the description if you have questions about cases and what will work with what. I'll try to help you out the best I can. But the best advice I could give you is to check out the titles and be very specific whenever you are looking for your device. And of course, just use the links in the description here. I'll make sure to leave very specific links so you don't get confused. So thank you so much for watching this video again. Check out a lot of my other content, by the way. I have a lot of other content on Samsung Galaxy tablets. So feel free to check some other videos out. Feel free to give me a like on this video and give me a sub to my channel. That does mean a lot. And I really honestly just hope you have a tremendous day. And in this crazy, crazy world, I hope you have a tremendous week. Thank you.